Ready, Pack? As always. How about you, Spy? <laughs> yeah, the other loser's totally sweating it. Whew. Nah, it's just super hot. I'm so ready for today's math test. <laughs> math? I thought it was history! <laughs> oh. Phew, it is hot in here. Maybe someone accidentally cranked up the heat. Oh, today's test will be delayed because of an important PPSA. Ugh, a Pack World public service announcement. Snooze alert. Ugh, boring. Uh. Awesome. I hope it's super long. President Spiros has an important message about the S word. Slime? That's right, slime. My fellow pack worlders, in some way, slime has touched each and every one of our lives. As your humble elected president, I am following through on my campaign promise to ease the unbearable ickiness of being slime. I am joined now by Secretary of Security O'Drool and Circumference, inventor of Packworld's very first desliming station. Any last words before the demonstration, President? <coughs> As Secretary of Packland Security, I personally inspected this groundbreaking facility before allowing the President to demonstrate how it works. Oh, that's good, old Drool, since you're the one who's about to get de-slimed. <coughs> what do you mean? I haven't been slimed. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Oh, 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 sure I would. Regret this circumference? Yuck! Yuck. Ah. The pack is back. Ghost chomping at his feet. Pack's our hero. Pack just can't be beat. Yeah! Black and yellow, pack and string. He's a chowing down machine. Yuck, monster, goons. And only one can stop him. Pack man rules. The pack is back. Ghost chomping at his feet. Pack's our hero. Pack just can't be beat. Pack is back. Oh, <laughs> Mr. President, did you see what that maniac did to me? We decided for my security, the Secretary of Security should go first. Now, smile for the cameras. <laughs> First, an application of deep hydration exfoliant. <laughs> Next, the detoxifying massage scrub. <laughs> then, my personal favorite, a microderm abrasion buff. <laughs> Followed by an application of volumizing <laughs> conditioner and rinse. Then a nice warm blow dry. I said warm, not smoking. Oh, something is causing everything to overheat. Oh, that deco's get me out of here! Whoa! Looks like the de-sliming station's about to blow! Circumference! You have to do something! Fast! In that case, full speed ahead! As you can see, the secretary is just fine. Aren't you, O'Drool? Oh, who? Um, don't be alarmed, Packworlders. Uh, Circumference just has a few minor bugs to work out with this desliming station. Uh, begging your pardon, Mr. President, uh, I tested this equipment, and I assure you there is nothing wrong with my desliming station. Then explain that! Well, frankly, I never understood that guy. But the real question is, what is making the temperature in Pack World so high? Look out for the... Oh, we... <laughs> Aren't we glad Daddy's bombastic big brother is having such a terrible day? Hey! 
Watch it, my precocious pet. <laughs> if they think it's hot now, wait till your dastardly daddy really cranks up the heat. I'm so hot, my test is washing away. Please, 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 I need a miracle to stop this exam. We interrupt with this emergency announcement from the Roundhouse. President Spheros will now make excuses, uh, I mean, address Packworld. Global warming is one thing, but clearly something unnatural is causing this insufferable heat. So, I have asked the Secretary of Packland Security, Mr. O'Drool, to investigate. Well, what have you found out? <clears throat> I am following several leads, and as yet my findings are conclusively inconclusive. What? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> but rest assured, I already know exactly who is going to take the blame. Yes! My plan to conquer Packworld is unfolding perfectly! Well, hip hip hurrah for you. Once again, your unfathomable scientific genius has graced us with a brilliant plan. Wow! Dr. Buttocks, there is only room for one supersized ego here, and that's mine! So zip it, or I'll toss you into the new super furnace. I am humbly cringing with fear, sir. <laughs> And speaking of the super furnace, hustle your tushy face over there and turn up the heat on Packworld. Kiss up. Oh, slug server. <laughs> Ooh, soon, my pet, the weather in Packworld will be so hot, they'll be too weak to lift a finger, making it ripe for invasion. <laughs> As if he isn't full of enough hot there. Lord Betrayus wants more heat. Fire it up! Oh, oh, oh. All right, now we are cooking. Citizens of Pack World, President Spheros has another <sighs> important message. I have oh, Secretary Ooh, Old Drool with me. Back off! Secretary Old Drool, what is your plan for ending this blistering heat wave? <clears throat> I have completed my extensive research. Most excellent. And. I have single-handedly found the guilty party. Who is it? Sir, Comfrance, of course. It all started when he had the nerve to slime me. And then his de-sliming station went kablooey. So it has to be his fault. And I will personally see that he pays for it all. We gotta make sure nothing happens to Cersei. You guys done? One test, aced. Ready to roll. This sweltering heat is all your fault. Admit it. 
Thank you very... I don't care how many freaks you have, Circumference. You are going to jail. Whoa! Major C, what? Okay, Cersei's inventions don't always work exactly as planned. But they always get the job done. And they never fail to save Packworld in the end. Oh, true enough, but maybe this time it is my fault. Waha! I was right! Cersei would never do anything to harm Packworld. No way you're taking him to jail. <laughs> you may be the last yellow one, but I still have authority over you. Secretary O'Drill, the president sent us. The Tree of Life is dying, sir. Grinder, gather all the equipment we'll need to investigate. Put circumference under house arrest. I want this entire lab shut down. That is an order. Off, you bureaucratic buffoons! I must save the Tree of Life! No, I must! Then, next election, I'll be living in the Roundhouse. One of you take me to the Tree of Life at once! What are you waiting for? Well, they don't know where it is. Aside from the three of us, only Circumference and the President are allowed to know. We'll just see about that. As Secretary of Security, I have the authority to make even President Spheros do as I say. Texting the press to stall old drool. Good thinking, silly. Way to go. Make sure that Circumference is secured and cannot escape. Create some kind of diversion. So we can get Cersei out of here. And save the Tree of Life. <laughs> Sorry, little dude. No idea what you're trying to say. <gasps> now I get it. <laughs> you young and need to get more rest. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Grab a nap if you like, boys. <gasps> oh, this is far worse than I feared. What can we do, Cersei? I'm not sure. Let me think. I've got an idea. I'll use this minty ice berry and create a frozen wall around the tree to keep it cool. Real, bro! Genius! Excellent idea, my boy! All right! I stand ready to... Wait, no! What happened? The situation is even worse than the far worst I first feared. The heat is draining all the power from these berries. We must find out what's causing this searing heat wave soon and hope there's a way to reverse it. Or the Tree of Life really will die. Which will be the beginning of the end of Packworld. No way I'm gonna let that happen. So let's go find out what's causing it. That's the spirit, my boy! Geological, geological, or whoop, astrological. Or it could be netherworldical. That's a Venus dragon fly trap. Indigenous to the netherworld. Well, at least now we know who turned up the heat. Atreus! How's he doing it? Hang on! This big mouth is starting to bug me!
Smooth moves, dude! Okay, where were we? Wondering why Betrayus cranked up the heat. Take a wild guess, Brainiacs! You're all toast! Break a seed! The mad Dr. Einstein created a super furnace to cook Pack World's proverbial goose! We gotta get down there and take out that furnace! Sadly, the power berries have lost their strength, so they can't protect a normal Pack Worlder. There's only one chance for Pack World now! Then I'll just have to go it alone. Be careful, Pack. Watch your back, bro. Okay, whose lame idea was it to help Lemon Ball here find the furnace? For uppityness, who else? Well, I hardly ever get my Packums away from that silly girl. She's so possessive. More flames, you lazy lizards! It's buttocks! Take cover! <gasps> oh, those poor dear dragons! More fire! <gasps> it tears me apart to see innocent creatures, great or small, mistreated! <laughs> Lord Betrayus wants more heat, so give me more heat! Gee, now what are you gonna do? That's a lot of firepower to fight alone! I'll worry about the dragons after I take out Dr. Demented. Dragons have to protect me! Flame broils the intruder! <laughs> what are you doing? <gasps> Not again! Oh yeah! <laughs> again! Uh. <laughs> I give that eyeball belch a perfect ten! Me too! Yeah! Nine and a half! Herp didn't have enough herp, you know? So, now what are you gonna do, Packles? Gotta figure out how to destroy that furnace! Hmm, don't suppose they'd want to do me a favor. Guess that's a no! Go! Away! Run! for good. Well, if it wasn't, it is now. All right, super cool. The heat's off and all is chill again. I just hope I make it in time to hear the president's announcement. Speaking on behalf of everyone in Pack World, we owe Circumference a heartfelt apology. We... I should never have doubted him. Good, I'm not too late. There they are! Arrest them all! They defied my direct orders! 
Do what you want to me, but this young hero just saved Packworld. Not to mention your pompous posterior. Irrelevant! Might I remind you, I am the Secretary of Security! President Spheros, I demand to know, what are you gonna do about this situation? Hmm... It appears I must execute an executive order. <laughs> well, then, please do it. You're fired! I d Wait! That's not how this is supposed to go! Please escort the former secretary out of my sight. No, stop! What are you doing? All right! Cool! Excellent! <laughs> so long, Snappy! <laughs> Butler! Where's that incompetent twin of yours? I'll feed him to my plant habits! <laughs> Gonna have to get in line! Stop! No! Petraeus made me do it! 